Hello friends, this video on Integers part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us look at another example where we can actually see that how negative numbers are smaller than the positive numbers. Let's say that uh, you went out shopping with your mother. Yeah, so you carried your mother carried some amount of money with her for shopping. So first you went to this particular shop and you shopped a lot of things, maybe some clothes, some grocery items, etc. So you purchased a lot of things. Let's say that you started with rupees 500. So when you when you entered the shop, you had rupees 500 with you. Okay. Now, by the time you did all your shopping here, after that, you were left with just rupees 100. So you entered the shop with 500 and you came out with rupees 100 because you had already shopped for the remaining 400 rupees. Now from this shop, you went to uh, a cafe and there you had some coffee. So there also you had to pay some money. Now let's say that there you had to pay this 100 rupees. So you had coffee and snacks for rupees 100. So now what is left with you? So as you move on, you are left with no more money because that 100 rupees is being given to the coffee shop. So now you have how much rupees? You have zero. You do not have any money. So you have rupees zero. So now let's say that you wanted to buy some vegetables because there are no vegetables at your house. So you went to the vegetable vendor, but now you do not have money. So do you think that the vendor would give you vegetables for free? No, not really. But then you might have asked the vendor that, okay, you give me the vegetables and I will pay you tomorrow. So basically you borrowed from the vendor. So let's say you borrowed rupees 100 from the vendor. That is, you purchased vegetables worth rupees 100 and you said that you will return it back the day after. So basically now your balance is rupees 100. Now what is happening gradually? So as you see, as you move from the shop to the cafe to the vegetable vendor, your balance was gradually decreasing. So when you started from home, it was 500. By the time you reached uh, the cafe shop, it was 100. By the time you reached the vendor, it was 0. And by the time you came out of the vendor, it was minus 100. That means you had to return some 100 rupees to the vendor. So this shows that 500 was greater than 100. 100 was greater than 0. 0 was greater than minus 100. So basically we see that as the value decreases, you move towards the negative numbers from positive numbers. So with this idea in mind, let us now talk about the number line in detail. So when you say a number line, it is a line which represents all the integers at one place. So it is a very convenient way of representing integers. You get to know which integer is located where. So you have a zero at the center, all the positive integers towards the right, all the negative integers towards the left. Now, as you move right, you move towards the larger numbers. That, that, that's what we said, right? As you move right, you move towards larger numbers. So, that actually means as you move left, you are going to move towards the smaller numbers. Now, that, that's quite obvious, right? So, just with this simple logic, you should be able to compare all type of integers. If you just remember this that moving right means moving towards larger numbers. This will help you to distinguish between any two numbers, which is greater, which is smaller. You'll be able to do all of that. So let us now look at the same examples with this idea in mind. Whenever you look at a number line, just think 18 or 10, which is located towards the right. So 18 is located towards the right. So 18 is greater than 10. Similarly, minus 35 and plus 31. So definitely plus 31 is greater because all positive numbers are located towards the right. 103 and minus 108. Again, the positive number would be greater because they are located towards the right. So see, remembering that simple tip can help you to decide which is bigger so easily. So now that we have discussed all the comparison of integers, let's have a quick recap. So we have learned that 0 is greater than any negative number. So 0 will always, doesn't matter whether the negative number is minus 200 or minus 20,000, but any negative number will be smaller than 0. Okay. 
a positive integer is always greater than a negative integer because on a number line you would see that the positive integers are all located towards the right and the negative integers towards the left. So any positive integer would be greater than any negative integer. A positive integer is always greater than 0 because all the positive integers are towards the right of 0 so they are all greater than 0. For two negative integers, one with smaller value will overall be greater. For example, if you compare minus 40 and minus 10, which has a smaller value. That means if you only consider the value 40 and 10, which is smaller, 10 is smaller. But overall, when you consider with the sign, you would see that minus 10 is greater. So basically, when you are comparing two negative integers, the one with a smaller value, the number with a smaller value will overall be a greater number. So in this case, out of minus 40 and minus 10, 10 is a number with smaller value, but overall minus 10 is greater. So the, if you remember these four rules, it's very simple to identify or to compare two integers. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.